Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man uh, run on uh, the highest difficulty of this freshly released beta 1 version of Long War of the Chosen 2. Um, I literally just entered uh, the game uh, when uh, where we left. Uh, apologies again for not being able to do it until the or to keep it until the first uh, until the begin of the next mission. Um, I needed to take an appointment, so we start kind of in the geoscope, but I um, I will try to move as fast through it as possible. General status is I sold a bunch of items on the black market, ended up with a bit more uh, north of 200 supplies, uh, thanks to all of the Alarium cores that we have uh, found. And I was just about to um, to make purchasing decisions when this new mission popped up. Qu really, uh, quite literally uh, when I was entering the game. So we're now looking at... What, where's the mission? Are you shitting me? Yeah, there we go. So this one here. In the moment when I opened the game, just before I click recording, it opened up a lot of um, rookies and a few resistant um, operatives, which is a phenomenal reward for the mission. Um, so I am thinking that we need to field this mission. Uh, it has plenty of time. Um, and we just started uh, going through... Uh, the tower mission here, which, or starting to infiltrate the tower mission, which, quite frankly, um, we can do whenever we feel uh, like it. So we're now going to West Africa and we'll field this new mission because, um, yeah, whenever Bradford finally lands, that's by the way where they make fun of uh, your driving, uh, of your flying skills. So let me um, let me equip uh, the SWAT here. We're going to have plenty of time to do that. All right, here we go. So same team, a little bit of upgraded uh, armor, elsewise uh, really the uh, the same. And look at that, we still got time left over. It's gonna be uh, fine, uh, but the resist uh, the rewards are uh, definitely. Um, are definitely worth the effort here. One rookie, two rookies, three rookies, and three resistance personnel. That is awesome. I am in full approval of uh, this mission, so that team can directly do the mission and afterwards go back to the tower, as far as I'm concerned. So we simply need to infiltrate until 100% and then we can do the mission. Okay, as I was saying, the second big decision that we need to, to do is what do we do with the 220, um, uh, 220 supplies, right? Uh, there is actually quite a bit that we can do, um, and I already thought uh, through it, and there are two options that come to mind here which are sensible. Either we go for the training center, 150 uh, supplies, um, and try uh, increase the lab um, improve the laboratory as uh, well. That's option number one. Option number two is we're going for proving grounds and the training center. I think we're going with the training center and increased laboratory capacity. Uh, the way we need to do that is we need to shift around some of our engineers. To gain the necessary Aven uh, Avenger power, and then we're upgrading the laboratory essentially, putting in further scientists. So as you can see, we're now like really speeding up that process, and we're soon going to get the next engineer via the covert actions. Let's increase in healing time. And by the way, why is one person here still on Intel? Dude, everyone's on supply here. Good. So we got quite... There's also someone not on recruiting here. Always got to micromanage these. Um, so... 
We're recruiting in South Africa. The others are producing supplies for now. Um, I hope that our income will look as good um, as good as um, it's currently forecasted. 400 or at least a few hundred definitely would be a welcome a welcoming um, influx. Experimental weapons are done. Got to get uh, going with the other parts of uh, the research. I would like to go for mobility armor or for magnetic weapons, but in both cases we need alien alloys. We could render a few of the advent trooper corpses, but it would take a few days. Um, let's just double check how many alloys do we get from one trooper's corpse. There we go, look at that, we got our next engineer. And if I have seen correctly, there was someone who just came back from uh, from being uh, sick. So some, uh, some of, one of our soldiers just recovered. Um, I see that we got a scientist here. It's not even a question. We're definitely going for the scientist. Uh, we will get the promotion to our highest level soldier. I think that was the guy who just came back from the sick bay. And 19 days duration, begin the activity, plus, yeah, with uh, the freshly gained um, engineer uh, on the resistance ring, it's down to 13 days, which makes sense. So, see, we already use uh, the additional um, engineer, so we would get up to four and four, which is good. One per month uh, is a benchmark that you could think um, think about. Yeah, we, we gained two um, alloys. That's not worth it. Let's go with uh, resistance radio. That can yield us continent bonuses. Plus, it's a fundamental research um, if we want to spread out further. We're definitely lacking supplies for many of our things, including the research. All right, infiltration is progressing. It seems that we have infiltrated the first uh, mission here in Quebec uh, fully. Operation Swap Saga, hack the hidden resistance computer and fight against 7 to 9, uh, which we're going to do with... Oh yeah, that's our scrap noob team, Grenadier, Grenadier, Shinobi. Yeah, that was the leftover team. Um, as we called it. So let's launch the mission. We still theoretically have time to over infiltrate, but uh, the baseline will not be lighter than 7 to 9. So might as well start now and give it a go. And here we go. Right. I jumped right into the mission. So one sniper, two grenadiers, a shinobi, a gunner, and an assault. And we only got nine rounds to get to there, so might as well make it count. Let us start by sprinting from here. We do have a few SMGs making our team quite mobile. Mitch um, has one of those, so might as well. He has a, de a decreased detection range by carrying it. And Pitbull likewisely has one. It appears that there, that there is almost no one here, so... That's the first pack that we were looking for. Oh gosh, that's a long, long range. You know what? Might as well use the Oscar mic, which 
uh, is an ability that you get uh, from uh, from the uh, leadership tree, so from the officer perk tree. Might as well take full advantage of it and get everyone into the map. So that essentially almost saved us an entire uh, turn just because everyone could move like really far. Sun answer gunner plus a drone. That's a pack of three. Another drone over here. That's number four. We're definitely being pinned down here, so might as well. I'm considering whether this here would trigger. But before we trigger the drone, which never has cover, might as well hit the stun lancer and kill it. There we go, that's the spirit. So we just triggered four enemies. Oh, clever. He positioned himself so he can't be flanked. Very, very clever. I'm using explosives to attract another pack. Also to soften him up, but mainly to attract the other pod. Explosive sound range is usually quite, quite wide. Raising shot does not kill the drone completely. Time for run and gun. This here should be able to uh, position should be able to see him. It's not, but I can go on uh, onto Overwatch. We're killing one more drone, and I think that's all we can do this turn. Unless we want to get rid of our cover, which I think is entirely reasonable. Yeah, but it also has advantages to have cover, right? Woman to here. The drone doesn't really scare me all too much. Going to kill uh, to kill the drone. I think that the gunner will act first because it was the first pack that we um, triggered. So usually it starts first. Yep, that is unfortunate. Yeah, the disorientation sucks. I give him that. Moving further to the other side. Pretty much looks as if there is no further pack here.
You know what? I'm even taking the negative. I, I was about to knife fight. But knife fighter is obviously such a bad um, damage that it really wouldn't make much sense. I want to put the sniper into a better spot. Really? Okay, that is becoming a bit ridiculous. It really seems as if uh, the guy is going to survive one more round. Would we be able to see him here? Yes. I think the pistol shot might be enough to just kill him. Oh, 8%, really? Yeah, well, in which case, let's pistol overwatch. So we're, we have fought four, that's six, there's probably another pack of two to three left over. No to myself. No to myself, don't fuck around with, uh, uh, with him. That was really, really bad. Uh, uh, the, I could have simply killed him with a grenade. But through an uh, through a series of bad decisions, I decided at the end to not do it, which was definitely a mistake. I will not make that mistake again. It was poorly executed. I'm the first one to admit, admit that. Might destroy loot on the uh, gunner. Yeah, of course. The game is now just rubbing it in a little bit more. That's, by the way, why I didn't want to do it in the first place. Okay, so they are the last pack. Taking full cover over here. Moving over, can we theoretically reach these guys with a grenade? You know what, the gunner could be reached and I think that's almost good enough. Which means rapid deployment, I absolutely love that skill. Gives you a free flashbang grenade. And then we're going to reload. We're breaking our cover here.
by essentially moving to here. And we're using the door, which, as long as it doesn't open, um, is blocking line of sight as a side blockade. Probably going for the half cover. I am not trusting that any other place would allow me to see the enemies. Might as well go here. Well, you could go here and then flank me. So, positioning ourselves here. He took exactly that approach. Okay, I think it's a perfect timing to start thinking about how are we actually getting out of here. We do have lightning reflexes, which I would want to use in order to trigger the overwatch. Mm, but we do not have run and gun. Let's see if we can actually kill him. Don't want to waste our damage potential. That also reduces the overwatch quite a bit. Mitch moves up and this guy is dead. There we go. Moving up to take some loot. That's 20 um, supplies right there. Forty percent shots are not great, but I am willing to take them overall. All right, putting body shield in there just in case we are not being able to kill him. We are. And this year is the final kill. That accounts for all of uh, the enemies. Not, not beautifully played. Pretty scrubby mission. Specifically, the one part with the um, with the gunner here that was poorly executed. Let's see what the workstation could offer us. You know what? If we're taking our chances and it's that slim, might as well go for a large pack of intel. There you go. That's my boy. In terms of being greedy, I get the loot next turn. Ready for 
reload and let's get a bit closer Overwatch with one um, with one shot of ammunition is never a good idea. Mitch needs to reload. Pitbull here needs to reload. Assault and Gunner are on Overwatch, and let's see. Nice. Killed the enemy Gunner right away. Got an elite trooper, or got a an advanced trooper and a trooper right there. Still careful because some of them might reanimate. Hasn't happened in a while. I wonder if the dark event is still active. Auto loader. Well, that's good enough. Since there is no high ground here, might as well position us near the extraction zone. Overwatch if needed. Yeah, but I don't think, since there are currently no reinforcements coming, I don't think that that's going to be a big deal. Might as well all move to the extraction zone. Because before reinforcements are going to come, we're going to get out of here. End turn. And since we may get some a bonus experience, might as well put everyone on Overwatch. Well, so much for that. I think we got two injuries, mainly stemming from the one time that we left the gunner unchecked. That was really poorly played. Could have been a flawless mission elsewise. I think the wounds weren't too grave, so I'm expecting maybe 10 days. Yeah, there we go. So it's 6 and 13 days, but we got three promotions out of it. We're going with uh, close and personal for our assault. Mitch finally gets formidable, would have saved him so that he wouldn't have even taken damage. We're going to go for Covert for our Shinobi. And we got 25 Intel. That's indeed 
substantial amounts. It's almost a mission reward worth of Intel, if you think about it. Yeah, we're almost back at 100 Intel. That was a pretty good mission. Guerrilla Tactics School. I think our Shinobi here can continue his path and try to fire any soldier below the rank of sergeant will automatically be promoted after a successful mission with uh, that um, officer. That one is good. The jammer piece is also pretty nice. Um, it's a question. It's a question uh, what you value more, um, the uh, promotion speed of everyone. I think there can be an argument made that we can use him in order to really fastly promote everyone to sergeant. Um, so that's not bad. Just to fill out, uh, fill up our. Um, our um, resources quite a bit, but the delay of uh, an enemy reinforcements by one turn is huge because that can be the make or break between a successful and a failed mission. Yeah, all of these here are great, by the way. But we don't have the money to to get them. We gotta invest in armor and upgrade for our laboratory. So there are plenty of other things that we would need to buy. We got two alloys. We got oh nice another engineer. Exactly what we were looking for. The game is giving us treats. Oh, and before we do that, apparently Operation Hellish God is ready, which was uh, another intel mission, uh, one that we couldn't fully infiltrate. Um, we're now looking at 10 to 12 enemies, so we're effectively fighting against 12 enemies, but I think that's going to be fine. Uh, our squad to do that, yeah, we need to go in with four people. I remember that was the mission where I was not was unsure whether or not we can pull it off, but um it's going to be fine it's going to be fine uh, that's it for today's uh, session thank you so much for watching and as always uh, leave a comment down below and uh, a like thanks and have a great day bye bye